There is something people always miss when they're talking about the story of Jonah, and it is the people who were on the boat. Those guys prove that human nature is either not as bad as we think it is, or perhaps it has depreciated to an all-time low in our generation. Now, in Jonah chapter 1, when the storm hit, they were all scared and it says that they began to call and on their God. Judging from the way people operated in those old days, it is very likely that if they had different gods, then they were most likely of different races because most races would have their own God. Hence why God is referred to as the God of Israel. Now, while the people on the boat were not necessarily believers in the sense of the word, they showed exceptional behavior and this is why. At first, they cast lots and he fell on Jonah. So they were almost certain that he was the source of the problem. Two, Jonah himself told them that he was the reason the storm was getting worse in the first place because he was running away from God. And three, Jonah himself asked them to throw him overboard. But yet, they were not keen to. In fact, they tried to go back to the land to avoid him being thrown overboard. But then it says that the storm became stronger. And then finally, they had no choice. But even before doing that, it says that they cried unto the Lord of Jonah in case they were doing something which was wrong. They offered sacrifices to Jonah's God and made vows to him. Wow, that is some huge evangelistic milestone right there. If that is not evangelism in its highest form, I don't know what else is. But more importantly, those are the kind of guys that I want on my boat. Yeah, because there are some dudes which the moment they cast lots and it falls on you, <laughs> dude, you're going to find yourself in the digestive system of a white shark. Think about it. <laughs>